Major Indoor Lacrosse, a dynamic young sports league entering its fourth season in 1990, quickly becoming the country's fifth major sport, making an impact, making contact with the future. Indoor Lacrosse combines the speed of hockey, the skill and finesse of basketball, and the hard-hitting contact of professional football. Indoor Lacrosse, the toughest game on the turf. Major Indoor Lacrosse began play in 1987 as the Eagle Pro Box Lacrosse League. Owners Chris Fritz and Russ Klein took the world's best lacrosse players, four established Northeastern arenas, and founded a four-team league that competed in the 15-game inaugural season. The league averaged 7,500 in attendance in 1987, with the season high coming on January 31st as a near sellout crowd packed the Philadelphia Spectrum to watch the Wings. In 1988, each team played four home and four away games as the MILL continued to make an impact on the American sports scene. Average attendance climbed to 8,300 per game. 1988 was the first year of the MILL syndication network eight regular season games and the championship game were broadcast to seven million homes in 16 major markets around the u.s and canada 1989 marked a milestone in mill history as the league expanded from four to six teams the detroit turbos roared into the motor city with the second highest attendance in the league the New England Blazers became the first professional sports franchise at the Centrum in Worcester. The competition and excitement of the 1989 season can be captured in the last few seconds of its sold-out championship game at the Spectrum between the Wings and New York Saints last April. One last rush for New York. There it is. Driscoll, he's in. He shoots. It's saved. It's over. The Wings have won the major indoor lacrosse league championship. kind of non-stop high-energy competition that brought 10,000 fans per game to arenas last season. As the league launches its fourth season in 1990, the Turbos have vowed to bring a world championship to Detroit this winter. No one will hit harder than the New England Blazers as they enter their second season of competition. The Philadelphia Wings are confident they'll repeat as North American Cup champions. But the New York Saints will feel a tough veteran squad ready to revenge their second place championship finish. An aggressive young Baltimore squad will rock the Thunderdome in their quest for the title. The Pittsburgh Bulls will stampede the Civic Arena as the league's newest franchise. Major indoor lacrosse league fans are 70% male, 30% female and over 50% are adults 18 to 34. They are the movers and shakers of today's society. They're well-educated, today's decision makers. The MILL will target these fans with over $1.3 million in television and radio advertising that is as exciting as the game itself. The scorching New England Blazers are at it again. <laughs> Coors Light presents the Major Indoor Lacrosse League. Today at 2 p.m. at the Central and Worcester, the New England Blazers versus the New York Saints. The final home game of the season. Lightning fast. Gut-wrenching excitement. Slashing. Boarding. Cross-checking. No holes barred. No one hits them harder than the Z-Force. See them in the fastest game ever. Ah! Coors Light presents the New England Blazers versus the New York Saints. You gotta see it to believe it. The 1990 Major Indoor Lacrosse Syndication Network will reach fans across the United States and Canada in over 17 million homes, in 55 markets, on 30 affiliates. Games are broadcast on regional sports cable networks from Boston to Los Angeles. This season, programmers will have up to 14 games to select from, introducing fans nationwide to the excitement of indoor lacrosse. Increasing numbers of sponsors are reaching their marketing goals with major indoor lacrosse. U.S. Air will enter its fourth season of sponsorship in 1990. Thrifty Car Rental is a new associate sponsor this winter. 
Brine and STX are the league's equipment sponsors. If you thought indoor lacrosse was just another game, think again. Major indoor lacrosse, making contact with the future.